If you're on Zoom meetings all day, all week, and every time you join a new Zoom meeting, you have to change your name down here. So it adds your pronouns, maybe adds your location, maybe adds your website, or your Zoom username is completely different to the name that you use. Maybe it's your company, your organization. Then I'll show you in this video today how you can change that really easily. So every time you log in, it stays the same. And I'll even show you how you can turn on and off the pronouns depending on if you want to show them in the meeting where you feel comfortable to do that or if you don't. So let's jump in. First of all, there's three different places where you can go to change your profile. Actually, there's only one place, but they're all linked to the same. So let me show you if you're in the Zoom app and you click the little icon on the top here, there is one uh, option that says my profile. If you click that, it will take you to Zoom's website where you can change your profile. Um, another place is if you go to preferences, there is a tab that says profile and you can edit here, which again will take you straight to the Zoom website. So if you want to do the easy route, you just go to zoom.us slash profile. And this is where you can change different things. So let me click edit up here. And you can see I have first name and last name. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Um, but then I also have display name. So this is where you can type in pretty much any name that you want to show up in Zoom. So you can have your real name on the top, but then your display name is what will be shown. Um, I love to add my location to the end of it because often that's something that people ask about. Um, the other thing that that I try to do, but unfortunately doesn't work, is adding emojis here because often I like to give myself an emoji, uh, but unfortunately that does not work here. And then if you go to the next section, this is where you can add your pronouns and it gives you just a space where you can write them in. And then this is the, the interesting thing where you can change uh, if it should always show, if it asks you every time you join or do not show at all. So I have it by default or have had it by default set to ask me every time I join a meeting, a webinar. So I'll actually show you how that looks like. If you have that enabled and we'll save Let's go back to a Zoom meeting. Here we go. Um, let me zoom out a bit so you can see this. So you see at the top here, it says, would you like to share your pronouns, he, him, in this meeting? And I get to choose don't share or share. If I click share, if you just look at the bottom left corner where it says my name, where it says Jan Kex uh, dash Toronto, if I click share, they just get added here. And if I decide that, oh, I want to remove them again, all you have to do is click on participants, hover over your own name, click more, and then you can unshare your pronouns. And this is also where if, uh, let me just do that, so now they disappear, but this is also where you could then rename yourself. So if you wanted to add things like emojis, uh, you could now use the uh, emoji keyboard to add those, which by the way, the keyboard shortcuts are, um, hold on, I have a slide for that that I can find for you. Here we go. So if you're on a Mac, it's control command spacebar. If you're on Windows, it's Windows plus the period symbol, or sometimes the semicolon. And when you hit that, which I will do right now, then you get this little emoji search bar where you then can search for any emoji that you like. And once you click it, uh, double click it. Okay, sometimes it's a bit buggy. So sometimes what I do is I just drag it over. And that usually seems to work if double click doesn't work right away. And now I've renamed myself and it actually has the emoji in my name. So those are the ways how you can change your screen name so it's the same every single time and how to add your pronouns and you can turn it on and off depending on if you would like to show it in the meetings that you're in. I personally uh, will now change that setting to always share in meetings and webinars because I generally am okay with sharing that and I think it sets a good 
uh, precedence for anybody else and encourages hopefully them to share their pronouns as well. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye.